Something weird happened to me today. Something different. I was uh, on Twitter this morning as after I got up and I saw a conversation between two friends of mine uh, talking about, um, you know, what partnership has done to them or the marks that they can't hit or the effects on their health. And whenever I enter a conversation like that, I'm, I'm always of the, um, I'm always of the thought of, you know, the immediate thing I'm going to do is self-deprecate. I'm going to ask why. Why do people support me? Why do people follow me? Like, why would they do it? Like, I don't understand. I don't deserve this. And this is something that um, my therapist has, has said, you know, throughout all of this, all of this, these sessions I've been going through, it's, it's something that feeds my core belief that I am unworthy, that my fear is to be worthy. And what my unconscious does, at least what I've learned, is what my, what my unconscious does is that it tries to protect me from that fear, meaning that to be unworthy, to question, to feel like I'm unworthy, to self-deprecate myself is exactly what I want. Saying is one of the most selfish things that I could ever do. And... It's something I've been trying to deal with for a long time. I mean, self-deprecation, if you watched the, the last, my, you know, the last six or so videos, you, you've seen this is something that I'm dealing with. And, you know, to be able to, you know, contain compliments, to be able to see myself as being worthy of something. After everything I've done, I've built a life. I've built a life off of being unworthy. So I did something different this morning. The first thing that came to my head was I wrote something along the lines of partnership is definitely the first step of a new journey. The next line could have certainly been something along the lines of, I don't know why people still watch. I don't know why people still sub if I'm not streaming as much as I used to. I mean, I, all of this therapy, all, all, all of this, all of the stuff last 12 weeks have been a reset. It's been something that I've taken upon myself to find balance, to make, you know, to find balance before, you know, coming back to make sure my, my, my relationship, my, my marriage, my work was balanced before I actually invest more time into it. And, um, I could have just said, why do people still watch me? Why do still pe people still sub to me? Um, despite all that, but I didn't, I didn't. The first, the thing I said was, I'm so very thankful. And I sat there shocked, shocked that I could have, I said such a thing that, 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 that was the first the automatic response. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, yeah, you said something nice about yourself. Whoop de doo. But I came out and I, I, I looked at Jen afterwards. I'm like, this is what I did. And she was so very supportive of it because it was to have that be an automatic response to be to start to replace the automatic response that my, of, of self-deprecation whenever something about my worth comes up or my unworthiness comes up, that belief of me being unworthy and to have a reaction, automatic reaction to the contrary it's a big thing for me. I think it's a big thing for anybody that is trying to get past this part of themselves. It's, it's a de definite step in the right direction. And, uh, the second thing that I wrote after realizing what I had done was I will never question why people follow me, why people sub to me, subscribe to me why people support me because that comes from a core belief of unworthiness and i'm thankful for everybody that has supported me everybody that has supported me throughout my journey throughout the entire not just twitch but my design career to look at tweets and and, and see people you know consider me such a a good designer in their eyes to retain that to be thankful for it. 
to say, yes, I do. I am worthy of that. I have worked hard. Still feels so weird for me to say that stuff. Feels like boasting. Feels like I'm not being humble. But as some people on Twitter would say, some of the good people that I follow on Twitter would say is that, you know, you have to love yourself before you can love others. You have to see yourself and love yourself first. And I'm trying, I'm getting better and I think I'll be okay. So before this gets too long, um, I'm going to be a sellout for just a second. And then if you liked, if you've liked any of these videos, um, definitely press that subscribe button. Also share them if you'd like to. Um, I, I am very, so very thankful for all of the letters, um, emails, letters, <laughs> the emails, the, the Twitter messages, the Skype messages that I've gotten over the past few weeks, um, saying that they're thankful that these videos exist and cause it's, it's been an immense privilege for me to be comfortable enough to tell you about this stuff. It says something about my personality, I guess, whether I'm, um, no, nah, I won't go there. I'm not vain. I just like to share. See, I can stop it. <laughs> but this is, again, the first step of many. And I hope this is, you know, the first video as we, as I start, you know, ending the urgency part, the urgency part of my, of my sessions that I can now get to a place where I can continue doing these and, um, not always be so glum about it. But until then, I'll see you when I see you.